Since we've modeled an elevator shaft, we haven't really modeled a shaft opening. Just because we have CMU walls here that go all the way up to our penthouse, that doesn't mean it's going to stop items such as floors, roofs, or ceilings from passing straight through it. What we're going to do in this video is create what's called a shaft opening. Essentially, it's going to be a void that goes all the way up, so anything like a floor, a roof, or a ceiling that passes through it will be cut out. Structural framing, however, will not be cut out. We'll have to deal with that later. Under structural plans, I'm going to go to level one. I'm going to zoom in on my elevator shaft. Now, I'm going to go to my structure tab, and I'm going to come down here to my opening panel, and we'll see that we have a shaft opening right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on shaft opening. Now, on my draw panel, notice that I can choose pick walls. That way, if my wall moves, I don't have to go back and remodel my shaft opening. Go ahead and click on pick walls. Let's make sure our offset is set to zero. And what I want to do is I'm going to hover over the outside face of my wall, but I'm not going to select it. So I'm just going to hover my mouse over it. It's going to highlight it. Then I'm going to hit my tab key and it's going to highlight all of them. You may have to just wiggle around by holding down your wheel button. Make sure you put the focus into your drawing area. So I hover over once, tab, and I pick it. Now I'm going to select the outside of my walls. Notice that we have a flip grip. I can click on the flip grip. It's going to flip it in or flip it out if you click on the wrong side. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my base constraint. Instead of level one, I'd like that to go all the way down to my top of footing. My base offset is going to be zero. Now my top constraint, I'm going to click the drop down here. I'm going to go all the way up to my penthouse level. Next thing I'd like to do is draw some symbolic lines that are going through here. So I can just make a little X. So when I'm done, that little X is kind of part of my shaft. So on the draw panel, I'm going to click on symbolic line. I'm going to draw a line from this end point here to this end point here. I can draw a line from this end point here to this end point here. Then I'm going to hit escape a few times. What's cool about these, if you go ahead and select one of these lines, notice that we get a little line style drop down. This is as close to AutoCAD as you're going to get. Essentially, these are your layers for your line styles. Medium, thin, wide, and some other line types that come right out of the basic Revit package. Your company might have a bunch of predetermined line styles. My company uses basically these line styles. On my mode panel, I'm going to click on Finish, Edit, Mode. I'm going to hit Escape a few times. Now, if we go to a 3D view, you can't see it, but if you select a window around your elevator shaft walls, just like this, what I'd like to do is click on the filter button right here. I'm going to click on check none. I'm just going to grab shaft openings. I'm going to click OK. Notice now, essentially what we have is a little void. You can click your grip, move it up or down. But essentially, this shaft wall is going around the exterior of your shaft. Once we start putting floors in, they're going to automatically cut themselves out around the shaft opening. So there you have it. That's how you cut a void through a shaft wall.